Good morning folks, how are you doing today? I'm just drinking some French vanilla coffee. Um, not smoking at the moment, but I do have some aged Burley Flake uh, drying at the minute. Uh, so I will be lighting that up shortly. Um, this is a VR for Pipe Miner who is running a 100 sub giveaway at the moment um i believe it ends today so i don't know if this is if i'm recording this in time or not if not that's fair enough um i wanted to answer the questions anyway um and for his giveaway he's asking three questions uh, the first of which is what is your favorite pipe and why um, which <clears throat> I'm honestly not sure that I've got a favorite um, you know I there's not one pipe that I seem to go or I don't notice one pipe that I seem to go to more than any other um, that being said, there are three pipes that I have at the moment that um, could be classed as a favourite, or, you know, um, the first of which is a Jake Hackett custom cob. Um, it was part of an incredibly generous gift um, that I can never truly repay. Um, the reason I like this is it's the first cob pipe. Uh, yeah, it's the first cob pipe that I've smoked that wasn't a legend, um, and I never got on with legends. I always you know they smoke too hot for me um, and I just really don't like the legend um, and that put me off corn cobs basically because I thought well you know they're all going to be the same <coughs> plus the legends are the only ones that you for a while you know if you if you go into a bricks and mortar in the UK chances are the only corn cob you'll find is a legend um, smoking this was a revelation um, you know it, it smoked beautifully the tobacco I had in it was fantastic um, the first thing I smoked in this was uh, chocolate silk and it really turned me on to the possibilities of corn cobs uh, and as a result I bought a few different ones and I've enjoyed every one that I've smoked. Um, the second pipe that I really enjoy is my Rattray Chubby Jackie. Um, I just love the size of it, you know, it fits in the pocket nice and easily, you don't need to worry about breaking it because it's it's compact, it's very strong um, and it's, is that an army mount is it? you know it's a 9mm filter as with most rat trays but it's just you know really nice compact but has a large bowl you know despite the size of the pipe itself it's a full size bowl and smokes beautifully um, and it was the one of the first Rattray pipes that I got, um, which is my favourite manufacturer. F manufacturer. Um, the last pipe that I want to mention um, is one that I won uh, in Pipe and Tobax giveaway, and that is the Stanwell Blowfish. And what I like about this is the the shape of it it's just such a a sleek pipe in its shape um 
it feels wonderful in the hand as I discussed it in another video recently it is just a beautiful smoker and it's the first Stanwell that I've ever had so not exactly one single favorite pipe but three pipes there that you know um, I really enjoy smoking and I mean I could point out something about every single pipe I've got I mean I've got about 50 pipes um, and I smoke pretty much all of them at some point or other um, the second question is what's your favorite part of the hobby um, my favorite part of the hobby is the tobacco I love tasting new tobaccos um, I like collecting tobacco um, you know I do have quite a bit in tin still I've got about 30 odd blends open and some of them are my own blends that I've put together which I love that aspect of it I, I really do wish that I could do more blending um, you know I, I'd love to know more about it and be able to do it properly um, so yeah tobacco is definitely the favorite part of my my favorite part of the hobby um, I'm not <laughs> having you know the first question about favorite pipe I think the reason I can't narrow it down is because um, for me any pipe will do you know I've got some cheap basket pipes that cost me £20 and I think my most expensive pipe was 130 um, which compared to Dunhill's that's still cheap but for me it's 130 is probably the most I'll pay for a pipe um, but you know the cheap basket pipes smoke just as well as some of my more expensive pipes so the pipe isn't really important it's the tobacco that you smoke that makes it for me uh, question three best advice you were given or would give um, the best advice I would give to somebody new to smoking is slow down in every every part of pipe smoking slow down um, the temptation when you first start is to get as much tobacco as you can um, you know after you've had a couple of pipes you kind of I want to try everything so you want to get you, you try to get as much tobacco as you can you 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 might fall into the whole pad and trying to get as many pipes as you can um, because you've heard that oh you shouldn't smoke the same pipe more than once a, you know once a week so you sort of think oh I need seven pipes then you kind of think well actually I'm having three or four bowls a day so I need 21 pipes <laughs> um, because oh, if I have one bowl you know I should I should leave it after one bowl because the bowl's going to be too wet or whatever um, and the cadence when you're smoking you tend to smoke very quickly um, so yeah slow down you'll enjoy the smoke far more um, if you give yourself time to actually sip it and taste it and find the nuances in the blend that if you smoke it quickly you'll you'll miss um, you might find a couple of months down the road that pipe smoking really isn't for you in which case you know if you if you've gone all in straight away then you know you'll have wasted a lot of money on pipes on tobaccos and you know so starting off slowly you get to know whether you actually do want to smoke a pipe um, I when I 
back in 2014 when I started smoking again um, or trying to smoke again I went into my local bricks and mortar and I was umming and ahhing over pipes and I went in three or four times before I bought a pipe and the bloke who was serving me was like you know it's it's actually a pleasure to see that because you know that you you know you're going to get what you want um, and he told me about a customer that they'd had the day before who had decided they wanted to smoke a pipe but they'd never smoked a pipe before um, but they'd looked on the internet and heard that Dunhill pipes were the best pipes and Dunhill tobaccos were the best tobaccos so this whoever it was I don't know they must have had you know had plenty of money um, came into the store uh, bought three Dunhill pipes and bought a couple of tins of every Dunhill blend that they had in stock uh, and just said I'll be back for more um, <laughs> you know they hadn't they, I don't know I can't say that they hadn't thought about it but you know they'd read that Dunhill was best so I'm going to get Dunhill and straight away the first pipe they ever smoked was a Dunhill um, the first tobaccos they smoked was Dunhill you know they're like oh I've got to get that um, I enjoyed the process of looking what at what there was looking at the pipes and finding a shape of the pipe that I really liked and just give me a second the pipe that I bought on that occasion was this one um, it's a Molina shape 721 oh, sorry not a Molina it's an Aldo Morelli Aldo Morelli shape 721 um, so a bent apple or at least that's what I call it um, it felt good in my hand I liked the weight of it and I like the price of it it cost me about 40 pound um, and it is a nine millimeter filter um, I still smoke this on a fairly regular basis uh, you know it's a it's a beautiful pipe and I thought about that I'd looked at it two or three times and you know before I actually bought it so slow down and find out what you want um, over time you don't have to dive dive in feet first um, so yeah those are my answers um, hopefully it's in time for the drawing but if not that's absolutely fine I've enjoyed doing the video um, you folks take care if you haven't subscribed to pipe miner um, I will put a link in the bucket below please do go along and have a look at his videos check him out is a you know really interesting videos out there um, take care for now and I will catch you in my next video Ta -da.